Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss float and double data types in Java. Before starts today's session, let us try to recall what have we discussed in our last video. In our last video, we clearly discussed about how to store whole numbers using integer data types. Why Java provides four different types of integer data types? What is type mismatch error? What will be happened if we write increment operator 127 as value of byte variable? How to store octal, hexadecimal and binary literals? What happens if we miss capital L or small l in long literal? If you haven't watched that video, Please watch that. The link is given in the description box as part of the data types concept. This is the third video. In 13th video, we covered what is data type, what are the major properties of primitive and non primitive data types. In the 14th video, we covered different types of integer data types. In this video, we are going to cover how to store decimal values in the program after watching this video you will be able to know why float variable can't store decimal value without suffix small f or capital f what is precision can we store other than decimal literals as float type can we get infinity as an output of your program what is nan when will we get NAN as an output? This is the hierarchy of the data types in Java. So in the last video, we started our discussion about the numbers. We covered how to store integer values with help of byte short int long. In this video, we are going to cover how to store decimal values using float and double data type. Decimal types are floating point values or real numbers. If you want to store whole numbers, we use integer data types in our program. If you want to store real numbers in your program, we must use decimal data types. Simply we can say that the numbers with fractional part, we can store with help of the decimal data types. For example, if you want to store height of your person, that number is a real number a number with fractional part 5.7 pi value 3.17 that is also a real number like this if you want to store a number with fractional part we use decimal data type the two decimal types defined by java are float and double float is used to store single precision floating point numbers and Double data type is used to store double precision as the name suggests. It is used to store double precision floating point numbers. Then you may get the doubt what is precision. Digits we can represent accurately after the decimal point is called precision. In a real number after the point how many numbers can we represent that is called precision. Let us see the properties of float data type. It is 4 bytes float data type. It occupies 4 bytes of the memory or 32 bits of the memory. This is very important point in Java. By default, all the decimal values treated as double type in Java. It can be stored 6 to 7 decimal digits. For example, 25 point. After the decimal point, we can store 6 to 7 digits. But here important point is suffix f is compulsory when you want to store floating values. See the example. Suppose if you want to store a float value 10.3, after the 10.3, we must write f that may be a lowercase f or uppercase f to our valid. But writing the f is compulsory. See this example float 
variable name is vr i am assigning a float value because 3.17 is a floating point value let us try to execute this see the output we are getting the error here type mismatch cannot convert from double to float so the meaning is by default this value is treated as double type if you want to specify this value as float type you must type f as a suffix to this value now save it again let us try to execute this now see we are getting the output 3.17 now see this point if we try to initialize float variable with a double value it will raise type mismatch error that is what we have seen just now so this is the program what we covered it will raise an error because here we are not writing the f at the end of the float value next category is double type it is 8 bytes float data type it can be stored 15 to 16 decimal digits you can observe this much of very lengthy value we can store generally this is used in the scientific calculations whenever you want to maintain more accurate value then we can use double type values we can express double values in the scientific notation also using lower case e or upper case e see this example 1.5 e power 8 means 1.5 into 10 to the power of 8 we can store positive values by using scientific notation and we can store negative values also if you want to store negative values you need to write like this e minus 8 the meaning is 10 to the power of minus 8 see this in this example i am trying to store a double value in the form of scientific notation my value is 1.5 e to the power of 8 now let us try to execute see this we are getting the output 1.5 e power 8 the double data type uses small d or capital D as a suffix so in our previous example we have seen if you want to specify a decimal value as a float suffix f is compulsory so if you want to specify a decimal value as double type you can use d as a suffix but here d is not mandatory see the example the keyword double variable name is vr1 assignment 62.5 in this case 62.5 is a double type but i am not mentioning suffix d this is also valid second example i am mentioning capital d as a suffix this is also valid and if you want to mention the d in the lower case that is also valid floating point literals specified only in decimal form in the last video we covered we can specify integer values in decimal form binary form octal form and hexadecimal also but coming to the floating point values we can use only decimal form to store the values see the example here i am assigning the value 0 0.123456 the value is starts with 0 if you start any integer value with 0 that value is treated as octal value we have seen in the last video in this case i want to store octal value that is the reason i started the value with 0 let us try to execute this see the output variable value is 0 0.123456 so what is the value we store we are getting same value as an output this value is not converted into the octal value see this in this example i want to specify float value as hexadecimal type as we discussed in our previous video if you want to specify a integer value as a hexadecimal that should starts with 0x that is the reason i started my double value with 0x but in this case you are getting an error because floating point values cannot be specified in any number system other than decimal if you execute this you will get an error see this program 
in this program i want to implement division operation the values are 5.0 division 0.0 in java forward slash is called as a division operator we will discuss in detail about the operator concept in the coming videos but as of now just remember this is a division operation and forward slash is a division operator pass the video and expect the output now see the point in java floating point division operation can return infinity value or plus infinity when divide with 0.0, .0. if you take any floating point value and if you are trying to divide that number with 0, .0 .0, that returns infinity in java in other languages generally it raises an error see this example same example i am trying to divide 5.0 with 0, 0.0 execute it now see the output of this program is infinity or plus infinity in java floating point division operation can return minus infinity also if either numerator or denominator is negative see this example code same code but i am taking numerator as a negative value in this case it returns minus infinity see this example you can take either numerator or denominator as a negative value you will get minus infinity as the output observe the output minus infinity next point is we have one more special word nan nan stands for not a number when floating point operation produce undefined value then it is treated as a non nan not a number for example if you are trying to divide 0, 0.0 with 0, 0.0 so arithmetically the result is undefined in such cases java returns nan as an output next case is if you want to find square root of a negative number this is also a undefined value in this case also jvm returns nan as the output see this example in the fifth statement i am trying to divide 0, 0.0 with 0, 0.0 if you write the same logic in other programming languages that may raise an error but here we are getting some output if you want to find square root of any number we have a predefined method called sqrt square root and this is available in the math class so if you want to use square root predefined function we must write the class name in which class that is available so math dot square root of that number execute this see the output nan nan in two cases we are getting the output nan that is not a number undefined value check your knowledge what you learned from this video why float variable can't store decimal value without suffix f or capital f what is precision can we store other than decimal literals as float type can we get infinity as an output of your program what is nan when will we get nan as an output if this video is useful to you do subscribe the channel watch and share it thank you